What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Jr. watching a Rage and Ronin review. Got a review for you. I checked out Angel Has Fallen. It's the third film in the now Fallen trilogy starring Gerard Butler. First, it was Olympus Has Fallen, directed by Antoine Fuqua. That came out in 2013. And then in 2016, we got London Has Fallen. That was directed by Babak Najafi. And now we have Angel Has Fallen, which is directed by Rick Roman Waugh. And this is a franchise that, um, you know, I, I'm actually quite interested in because I really love these R-rated action films that really don't hold back in the violence. It's something that we don't get a lot of um, these days. Um, but um, Olympus Has Fallen was great. London Has Fallen, I only saw them once in the theater. And I don't remember too much about it. It had a lot of action in it, but I still think that Olympus Has Fallen is the best one. And then now we have Angel Has Fallen, and this one stars Danny Huston, Houston, Huston. Um, and you know, he, he's pretty much typecasted by now. We keep on seeing him playing villains. So now he's back as the antagonist, in, he's back as a villain, and now he's the antagonist in Angel Has Fallen. And I was just thinking, what are they gonna do now? Obviously, you know, if you don't know by now, the theme of this this trilogy, I mean, this franchise that Mike Bannon, who, Banning, who's played by Gerard Butler, he is the Secret Service, and he just is protecting the president in every single one of these movies. And it's, um, you know, that's the running theme. That's what this movie's about. It's about him pulling off another job, uh, or not pulling off a job, but just having to be in these situations where he once again has to protect the president. Now this one's a little bit different because now he's being framed with the assassination of the president. So now he has to um, use his skills and his wits, his um, specific set of skills to kind of make his way out of the situation, clear his name, and once again protect the, um, the president, uh, who's played by Morgan Freeman, from the bad guys who want to kill him. So... Is this film, I mean, where does this film rank in this this now trilogy? I gotta say, it's, it's time to retire this franchise. It's time to make this film, I mean, this franchise, just a trilogy because it's it's run out of steam. I thought they were gonna do something different with Angel, well, with Angel Has Fallen for this trilogy, or for this franchise, rather, but... It doesn't really bring in anything new and exciting. At least London has fallen. You know they're bringing the bringing the fight to London. All right, bringing this 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 terrible situation to London, and it was pretty. Um, you know, it was pretty crazy. As in, like you know, they were thrusted into this crazy situation. This one feels a little bit more tame. Um, you know, now he needs the help of his father, played by Nick Nolte. And when I really think about it. Nick Nolte really doesn't need to be in this film. In fact, the, the idea of having his father in this film doesn't really need to be in it. I just feel like it's just gimmicky and it doesn't serve much of a purpose. It, ha it You know, it creates a little bit of exposition, but honestly, Mike Banning, he can handle it on his own. He doesn't really need his dad there. So I think that bit of um you know that bit of the stuff like that little subplot is unnecessary so you can cut that right out we didn't really need that um i feel like they hold back in this one uh, like the other ones were a little bit more well especially olympus has fallen it was a little bit more visceral you know what i'm saying it's just a little bit more brutal uh this one just feels like um like it doesn't have the same type of feeling as the first two um, London Has Fallen, I still don't remember what really happened in it, but I remember it being a lot more, um, not only action-packed, but just trying to replicate the same type of, like, level of action and violence in the first one. Now, this one just really, uh, keeps it a little bit more tame. You know, I really like the finale at the end, but still, at the end of it all, it just feels like this doesn't, this one is the weaker of the, um, of the of the trilogy in fact uh, it kind of just goes downhill and for that reason alone i decided that you know i like to buy movies i like to add movies to my blu-ray collection i only have olympus has fallen in my collection and i'm gonna keep it at that i don't think i need to complete this tr blu-ray trilogy so yeah london has fallen was forgettable angel has fallen was also forgettable 
Um, well, I wouldn't say it's forgettable. It has its moments if you like action, uh, mindless action. Um, but it's it's a pretty average action flick. Uh, Olympus Has Fallen is kind of you know besides White House Down, it's which came out in the first in the same year. It still it feels like it's um, it it's uh, its own genre where you know you you're trying to uh, you have these uh, these characters that are trying to protect the president. Um, yeah, Olympus Has Fallen is a pretty great film, uh, and there you have it. Uh, Angel Has Fallen, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. It, it's okay, it's decent, but it's not good, nor is it great. It's just kind of okay, and it's a Netflix film. It's something that you should catch on Netflix if you really want to. But there you have it, 5 out of 10. As always, if you enjoyed this review, you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation, also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex, thanks for watching. See you next time, peace.